It's Miranda. You might be wondering what I'm doing at this point, but it's not very unusual if you know me. So I'm going to tell you a little story about my paper dolls. So I used to make paper dolls in the early 90s. And my sister and my cousins would like draw a few outfits for them with me and everything, but I really enjoyed making paper dolls. So when I finally discovered Photoshop, when I got a computer and everything, I played around with making a paper doll in Photoshop with layers and everything. And this is what she looked like. So as you see, I made that in Photoshop, but then I edited a little commercial for her in Premiere. I thought that would be kind of fun to do for my family. Just, I don't know, just for fun. And what ended up happening was I discovered that I really liked Flash. And when I started doing some Flash animations, um, some of the things that I did were paper dolls. They were just a fun way for me to play around with fashion and stuff as someone who lately doesn't really like to change my own clothes. I still like designing things and stuff. So I thought a fun way to do that would be to make a new paper doll. Because this took three hours just to do some of this stuff and it was so cut up and choppy. There were so many times I got up from the computer. After a while I stopped talking as much as you can see. I'm just kind of staring at the camera more than anything because I realized I wasn't going to be able to really put the commentary. But um, I still can't seem to help myself from rambling though. This is just me outlining her in vector form because I just don't trust my lines when I'm using a mouse, so I figured it's just easier to take forever to adjust vector lines. Another reason why it took three hours. And, um, yeah. I'm pretty proud of the way she turned out because honestly I was trying to make her have a cartoonish but realistic body. I cartoonish I just mean aesthetically, that's just the way I draw. And I'm sorry that there isn't a lot of in-between stuff, but again, this took three hours. I could not record everything. I'm going to try to record more clothing stuff, though, in the future. From where we left off, unfortunately, I didn't record a whole because I couldn't. There was just a lot going on around me, and I could only jump in here for moments at a time before I was being grabbed. Um, so I just kind of did this in between whenever I could. I apologize to anyone who really would have liked to have seen this process, but hopefully you can see the process of the clothing and things that I will be making and some of the other, like some of the makeup and things like that. Because some of it I did do off screen, I will show you. I will make some of it on screen when I'm able to, hopefully very soon. I'm pretty proud that, uh, like, she's cartoonish, but she's also, to me, she's correct. It's like, yep, yeah, she could exist. She makes sense. My brain. Um, so then what I did after that, I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit so you could get the gist. Even though it's, uh, it might not be appropriate for YouTube, even though I'm, she's a Barbie doll, basically, if you know what I mean. I made her a Barbie. So... Here are some features. Um, as you can see, I changed the shapes a little bit and I did give her a smaller version or a different version of my nose. It's, it's my nose, but it's not my nose. A little bit of tone in her muscle. And um, this is what her eyes look like just without any color in them. And um, I have a couple of colors here, as you can see. So we're gonna just plop on some brown eyes. She at least looks like she's looking. Now the body shading. I'm pretty proud of this because I didn't use a reference for this. Okay. Do you want to see it without the, let me show you without the body because it actually looks pretty interesting. Let me show you what the shading looks like on its own because I think it's pretty cool because I didn't know it was going to look like that until it was done. So here's the shading. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> When I took the vector stuff off, I was like, oh, it looks kind of cool. I like it. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like together. Boom. 
So she there's a background so she can be transparent, which is very helpful. I've zoomed in so there isn't a problem with the, the non-boobs. Just in case. Um, and now what we can do is we can put on some makeup. We can do some red. Some gold. Some dark grunge. And some sprayed colors. Some fun little... So for now, we're just going to leave her lips like this because it matches everything right now. We're going to put on some blush. I put new technique because um, on the nose and stuff, quite like this, like an Annalie doll is just, it's something I've only seen within the last few years, but maybe I just missed something. I'm, just, I'm late to the party all the time. Okay. And then we have some highlighter and we have some freckles. Now this is some strong highlighter. If you don't like how much it is, you could always lessen it with the opacity. Isn't that great? That's the best part of this. You're just like, oh, this blush is too strong. But there you go. Highlighter too strong? Perfect. Just lessen it. We can put a little bit on her bod just because why not? If you don't like the freckles, you can always lessen those too. That's the best part. Opacity is wonderful. We also have eyebrows. I'm going to shave them off. They're gone. No eyebrows. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, she can have some neat eyebrows. Uh, she can have some bushy eyebrows. I will try to make a lot of these on my channel as opposed to just showing you the stuff I've done after the fact. Do you like I was getting it just it just wasn't working out. While somebody is recovering, it wasn't working out. But now let me show you some eyeshadows with her her default brows. I have some you like pinks or blues? Let's go pinks first. Pink, orange, and a little purple. You like it? I like it. I think my blending is pretty good. Well, not in real life. There's blue and green. There you go. I like it. And then we have some gray. The really cool part about this is again with the opacity you can just change it if you want it less. You got the, the pink, orange, purple. You're like, oh, that's a little too bright. What? 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 Mm. If you don't think that looks cool, I think that looks pretty freaking cool. Look at that difference. Ooh. We got to put some winged eyeliner on it. Mm. Come on. That looks good. Give her fluffy lashes. You know what? I got to take the grays off just so you can see these better and this fluffy lashes or just long like mascara. Uh, we're going to do this because why not? Um, and then the last thing I have to show, I did a couple of hairstyles. She's going to have a buzz cut. I got to fix it a little bit, but this is the first buzz cut. Um, I'm turning this into something. I'm thinking a ponytail with the way her hair is. It looks like it's tied up or a bun. Maybe I just haven't finished this one. I'll try to do for the channel so you can see, like I'll do some stuff like this and finally make some clothes. She made a little brown bob, which I think it's okay. This one's my favorite right now. I think she looks cute. Okay, let's see what her um, her lips can look like. She needs clothes too, but I don't have any yet. So, what do you want? Red? Ooh. Gold? Mmm. Dark orange? Mmm. Not with this. It could almost work, but I don't like it. How about we do this and we add that? <sighs> I like it. What do you think? There. It's like I did my makeup on there. I did my makeup. Mm. Get ready with me. She doesn't look anything like me. She has features like me in some capacity, but doesn't look anything like me. Well, that's it for today. <laughs> I just wanted to introduce what I was doing because ugh, this video could have been four hours long with all the footage I had, but it would have been the choppiest, most awful commentary footage so I just sped right through it instead and um I hope you enjoyed that